For those of you who are new, um, I'm the victim of everyday hate crimes and persecution against me, provocation, fumes, um, something to do with the food, but it's not the fault of the grocery store and the, the restaurants I go to from what I gather, okay? It is coming from the government and corporate, though I'm pretty sure everyone has noticed these things taking place, okay? I have over 22 witnesses on record. Hey, right now I'm being fumed. <coughs> Not that, you know, kind of clogging you know, my airways a little bit. Um, right now, I'm being fumed as I make this video, and it commonly occurs. It often occurs when I'm making the video and I'm thinking about the video topic, and they start fuming me, and I say, oh, man, so it's not an anxiety. It's not in my head. I have several witnesses to the fuming, okay? Um, I have 22 witnesses to the sabotage campaign against me, okay? So you see the comments I put on the screen, this is a common occurrence. I'm assuming that other people see these comments in the videos as well. This continual attack on the black race. And it's obviously coming from the people who used to own slaves, the whites, the Jews, and the LGBT community. Now, I'm not saying all of them agree with it. But by not standing with me for what is absolutely true, then they're either part of the obvious attack or the controlled opposition. If the Ku Klux Klan tells some white people to be liberals and to only try to address what they're doing, okay? For example, not saying that's what's going on. Obviously, it's fraternities and social clubs and gentlemen's clubs and corporate groups and government groups and military and police, obviously. But if that was what was to happen, okay? And they said, the Klan said, again, the Klan said that if that was to happen, if the Klan said that some white people should be liberals and give them a, con a controlled opposition resistance in order for things to play out a certain way, then those white people who are controlled opposition are part of the problem and the phony solution. And that's what's going on here. Okay? And obviously token minorities, we see them taking on Western occult philosophies and other various philosophies that are obviously coming from corporate America. It was whites and Jews that owned the big record labels in the rap industry historically. I don't know how it is now, but historically, that's what it was. And so who spread the culture? It was white, Jewish, and LGBT corporate. Hollywood, white, Jewish, and LGBT corporate. You know? And it's straightforward. So they're whitewashed even when they're gang members these days. And then they turn around and say, hey, after we gave you this culture, look at what your race is doing because they're unevolved. Obama went to Harvard. My dad's a brain surgeon. He's Nigerian. Ben Carson's a brain surgeon. Shaka Zulu. There's countless examples of why they're wrong. Okay? And, you know, the main way to evolve is to have morals. You can say you're civilized and be a Roman or a Nazi. That doesn't mean you're civilized. Romans were bloodbath maniacs. Nazis were bloodbath maniacs. Their lack of morals meant they didn't correctly evolve. In fact, when they're referring to this, the criminal activity taking place, and they're saying that they're unevolved, they're referring to a perceived lack of morals. But these people are in white hate groups that put the most righteous people historically in the same category as black controlled opposition guys and other groups of people who are uh, doing hate crimes of these days. Pretty straightforward. You see how there's no viable counter argument and I'm the son of a brain surgeon with a top martial arts challenge that makes me the top martial arts because it's going on 10 years, okay? And it's up to $10 million, you pay nothing if you lose, and $60,000 if I'm not compensated, okay? As the story goes, especially here in America, I put my money where my mouth is and I have the world record for hand strikes, which they didn't acknowledge probably because I'm part black, okay? Pretty straightforward, you know what I'm saying? We see Tyson saying that all the Harry Potters and all the Ichabod Cranes can't beat him. And I'm not racist. I'm part white, mind you. There's Jews in my family, my extended family, my in-laws. Okay? I'm not racist. I got invited to their wedding recently. I'm not racist. Think about it. They provoke me as part of the mainstream co construct, and they provoke me individually in a targeted campaign. I file police reports. No one does anything. 
the police have basically subtly said that they're not allowed to acknowledge government-backed race, uh, you know, hate campaigns against one of their citizens. The FBI doesn't care. The Justice Department doesn't care. The State Department, which is said to oversee clandestine operations, does not care. They're part and partial. So I want you all to know that when I point out what the white Jew and LGBT communities are doing, because they're doing it as communities on a spectrum, some of them are, are leading the charge, some of them are first mate, second mate, as the saying goes, some are lower down there, foot soldiers, right? Mid-range officers, so to speak. And some are just complicit because one who's slacking his work is brother to one who destroys. So the dominant characteristic of those groupings is child molester, child molestation, sodism, right? One in four kids, little girls are uh, molested. So therefore, child molestation is so prevalent that it must be something that the core of their groups are pushing. You see what I'm saying? Now, I know most people don't like child molesters. And most people, I'd imagine, unless I'm missing some here, most people aren't child molesters. But if you do nothing while people are molested, okay, if you're part of those groups, okay, and you identify as the groups that are dominated by child molesters, if you self-identify and you accept the cultures of, then the shoe fits and wear it. Because right now, those people who identify as whites, Jews, and LGBT, they're leading the charge for, for the hate crimes, okay? And other people in their groups aren't telling the truth. They're just controlled opposition when they face them. I haven't come across a single one of them that tells the complete truth. Because to tell the complete truth is to be persecuted. So to identify as the races of the world, including black, without separating yourself from the rest of the group saying, I'm not like them like I have done. I'm not like other black people. I'm mixed. I'm not like other mulattoes. My race and religion and philosophy is moral precision. You see what I'm saying? So when you identify, it's like identifying as a Nazi and saying you're not like Hitler, but you identified as that. The dominant tendency of Nazism is racism. It's violence. It's brutality. It's injustice. When you identify as white, Jewish, LGBT, black, Asian, any race of this world, then you've identified as where they are as a race, as a group, as part of the problem. Because none of these guys are coming out and telling the whole truth. Don't you understand what that means? That means that is the group identity. That's who they are. They are guilty or too afraid to face them and guilty by complicity and participation. 